Good evening, everyone. I'm going to be doing uh, Allen Ginsberg's Howl this evening. I saw the best minds of my generation destroyed by madness, starving, hysterical, naked, dragging themselves through the Negro streets at dawn, looking for an angry fix, angel-headed hipsters burning for the ancient heavenly connection to the starry dynamo in the machinery of night, who poverty and tatters and hollow-eyed and high sat up smoking in the supernatural darkness of cold water flats floating across the tops of cities contemplating jazz, who bared their brains to heaven under the L and saw Mohammedan angels staggering on tenement roofs illuminated, who passed through universities with radiant cool eyes hallucinating Arkansas and Blake light tragedy among the scholars of war, who were expelled from the academies for crazy and publishing obscene odes on the windows of the skull, who cowered in unshaven rooms and underwear, burning their money in waste baskets and listening to the terror through the wall, who got busted in their pubic beards, returning through Laredo with a belt of marijuana for New York, who ate fire in paint hotels or drank turpentine in Paradise Alley, death, or purgatory in their torsos night after night with dreams, with drugs, with waking, nightmares, alcohol, and cock and endless balls, incomparable blind streets of shuddering cloud, and lightening the mind leaping towards poles of Canada and Patterson, illuminating all the motionless world of time between, peyote solidities of halls, backyard green tree cemetery dons, wine drunkenness over the rooftops, storefront burrows of tea head joyride neon blinking traffic light, sun and moon and tree, tree vibrations in the roaring winter, dusks of Brooklyn, ash can rantings and kind king light of mind who chain themselves to subways for the endless ride from Battery to Holy Bronx on Ben's a dream until the noise of wheels and children brought them down shuddering, mouth racked and battered bleak of brain, all drained of brilliance in the drear light of zoo, who sank all night in submarine light of Bickford's floated out and sat through the stale beer afternoon. In desolate Fugazis, listening to the crack of doom on the hydrogen jukebox, who talked continuously 70 hours from park to pad to bar to Bellevue to museum to the Brooklyn Bridge, a lost battalion of platonic conversationalists jumping down the stoops off fire escapes, off windowsills, off Empire State, out of the moon, yakety yakking, screaming, vomiting, whispering facts and memories and anecdotes and eyeball kicks and shocks of hospitals and jails and wars, whole intellects disgorged in total recall for seven days and nights with brilliant eyes, meet for the synagogue cast on the pavement, who vanished into nowhere, Zen, New Jersey, leaving a trail of ambiguous picture postcards of Atlantic City Hall, suffering Eastern sweats and tangerine bone grindings and migraines of China, under junk withdrawal in Newark's bleak furnished room, who wandered around and around at midnight in the railroad yard, wondering where to go and went, leaving no broken hearts, who let cigarettes in box cars, box cars, box cars, racketing through snow towards lonesome farms and grandfather night, who studied Plotinus Poe, St. John of the Cross, telepathy and Bob Kabbalah, because the cosmos instinctively vibrated at their feet in Kansas. Who loaned it through the streets of Idaho, seeking visionary Indian angels who were visionary Indian angels who thought they were only mad when Baltimore gleamed in supernatural ecstasy. 
who jumped in limousines with the Chinamen of Oklahoma on the impulse of winter midnight, street lights, small town rain, who lounged hungry and lonesome through Houston, seeking jazz or sex or soup, and followed the brilliant Spaniard to converse about America and eternity, a hopeless task and so took ship to Africa, who disappeared to the volcanoes of Mexico, leaving behind nothing but the shadow of dungarees, and the lava and ash of poetry scattered in fireplace Chicago, who reappeared on the West Coast investigating the FBI in beards and shorts with big pacifist eyes, sexy in their dark skin, passing out incomprehensible leaflets, who burned cigarette holes in their arms, protesting the narcotic tobacco haze of capitalism, who distributed super communist pamphlets in Union Square, weeping and undressing while the sirens of Los Alamos wailed them down and wailed down wall and the Staten Island ferry also wailed, who broke down crying in white gymnasiums naked and trembling before the machinery of other skeletons, who bit detectives in the neck and shrieked with delight in police cars for committing no crime but their own wild cooking pederasty and intoxication who howled on their knees in the subway and were dragged off the roof, waving genitals and manuscripts, who let themselves be fucked in the ass by saintly motorcyclists and screamed with joy, who blew and were blown by those human seraphim, the sailors' caresses of Atlantic and Caribbean love, who bawled in the mornings and the evenings in the rose gardens and the grass of public parks and cemeteries scattering their semen freely to whoever come who may, who hiccuped endlessly trying to giggle but wound up with a sob behind a partition in a Turkish bath when the blonde and naked angel came to pierce them with a sword, who lost their love boys to the old free shrews of fate, the one-eyed shrew of the heterosexual dollar, the one-eyed shrew that winks out of the womb, and the one-eyed shrew that does nothing but sit on her ass and snip the intellectual golden threads of the craftsman's loom who copulated ecstatic and insatiate with a bottle of beer, a sweetheart, a package of cigarettes, a candle, and fell off the bed and continued along the floor and down the hall and ended fainting on the wall with a vision of ultimate cunt and cum looting the last jism of consciousness, who sweetened the snatches of a million girls trembling in the sunset and were red-eyed in the morning but prepared to sweeten the snatch of the sunrise, flashing buttocks under barns, and naked in the lake, who went out whoring through Colorado in myriad stolen night cars, NC, secret hero of these poems, Coxman and Adonis of Denver, joyed the memory of his innumerable lays of girls in empty lots and diner backyards, movie houses rickety rows on mountaintops and caves, or with gaunt waitresses and familiar roadside lonely petticoat upliftings, and especially secret gas station, solipsisms of John's and hometown alleys too, who faded out in vast sordid movies, were shifted in dreams, woke up on a sudden Manhattan and picked themselves picked themselves up out of basements, hung over with heartless toque and the horrors of Third Avenue iron dreams and stumbled to unemployment offices, who walked all night with their shoes full of blood, on the snowbank docks waiting for a door in the East River to open to a room full of steam heat and opium. Who created great suicidal dramas on the apartment cliff banks of the Hudson under the wartime blue floodlight of the moon and their heads shall be crowned with laurel and oblivion. Who ate the lamb stew of the imagination or digested the crab at the muddy bottom of the rivers of Bowery who wept at the romance of the streets with their pushcarts full of onions and bad music, who sat in boxes breathing in the darkness under the bridge and rose up to build harpsichords in their lofts, who coughed on the sixth floor of Harlem crowned with flame under the tubercular sky surrounded by orange crates of theology, who scribbled all night rocking and rolling over lofty incantations which in the yellow morning were stanzas of gibberish, who cooked rotten animals, lung, heart, feet, tail, borscht and tortillas, dreaming of the pure vegetable kingdom, who plunged themselves under meat trucks looking for an egg, 
who threw their watches off the roof to cast their ballot for eternity outside of time. And alarm clocks fell on their heads every day for the next decade, who cut their wrists three times successively, unsuccessfully, gave up and were forced to open antique stores where they thought they were growing old and cried, who were burned alive in the innocent flannel suits on Madison Avenue amid blasts of lead and verse and the tanked up clatter of the iron regiments of fashion and the nitroglycerin shrieks of the fairies of advertising and the mustard gas of sinister intelligent editors or were run down by the drunken taxi cabs of absolute reality. Who jumped off the Brooklyn Bridge This actually happened and walked away unknown and forgotten in the ghostly days of Chinatown, soup alleyways and fire trucks, not even one free beer, who sang out of their windows in despair, fell out of the subway window, jumped in the filthy Passaic, leaped on Negroes, cried all over the street, danced on broken wine glasses barefoot, smashed phonograph records of nostalgic European 1930s German jazz, finished the whiskey and threw up groaning into the bloody toilet, bones in their ears and the blast of colossal steam whistles. Who barreled down the highways of the past, journeyed each other's hot rod Golgotha, Jow, Solitude Watch, or Birmingham Jazz incarnation. Who drove cross country 72 hours to find out if I had a vision, or you had a vision, or he had a vision to find out eternity. Who journeyed to Denver, who died in Denver, who came back to Denver and waited in vain, who watched over Denver and brooded and loaned in Denver and finally went away to find out the time. And now Denver is lonesome for her heroes, who fell on their knees in hopeless cathedrals, praying for each other's salvation and light and breasts until the soul illuminated its hair for a second, who crashed through their minds in jail, waiting for impossible criminals with golden heads and the charm of reality in their hearts, who sang sweet blues to Alcatraz, who retired to Mexico to cultivate or habit or Rocky Mount to tender Buddha, or Tangiers to boys, or Southern Pacific to the black locomotive, or Harvard to Narcissus, to Woodlawn to the daisy chain or grave, who demanded sanity trials, accusing the radio of hypnotism, and were left with their insanity in their hands in a hung jury, who threw potato salad at CCNY lecturers on Dadism, and subsequently presented themselves in the granite steps of the madhouse, with shaven heads and harlequin speech of suicide, demanding instantaneous lobotomy, and who were given instead the concrete void of insulin, metrazole, electricity, hydrotherapy, psychotherapy, occupational therapy, ping pong and amnesia, who in humorless protest overturned only one symbolic ping pong table, resting briefly in catatonia, returning years later truly bald except for a wig of blood and tears and fingers to the visible madman doom of the wards of the mad towns of the east, Pilgrim State, Rockland, and Greystone's feeded halls, bickering with the echoes of the soul, rocking and rolling in the midnight solitude bench dome and realms of love, a dream of life, a nightmare, bodies turned to stone as heavy as the moon, with mother finally, and the last fantastic book flung out of the tenement window, and the last door closed at 4 a.m., and the last telephone slammed at the wall in reply, and the last furnished room emptied empty down to the last piece of mental furniture, a yellow paper rose twisted on a wire hanger in the closet, and even that imaginary nothing but a hopeful little bit of hallucination. Ah, uh, Carl, well, you are not safe, I am not safe. And now you're really in the total animal soup of time and who therefore ran through the icy streets, obsessed with a sudden flash of the alchemy of the use of the ellipsis catalog, a variable measure in the vibrating plane, who dreamt and made incarnate gaps in time and space through images juxtaposed and trapped the archangel of the soul between two visual images and joined the elemental verbs and set the noun and dash of consciousness together, jumping with sensation of pater omnipotens eterna deus to recreate the syntax and measure of poor human prose 
and stand before you speechless and intelligent and shaking with shame, rejected yet confessing out the soul who conformed the rhythm of thought in his naked and endless head, the madman bum and angel beat in time unknown, yet putting down here what might be left to say in time come after death and rose reincarnate in the ghostly close of jazz in the gold horn shadow of the band and blew the suffering of America's naked mind for love into an Eli, Eli, Lama, Lama, Sabakthi, saxophone cry that shivered the cities down to the last radio with the absolute heart of the poem of life butchered out of their own bodies, good to eat a thousand years. What sphinx of cement and aluminum bashed open their skulls and ate up their brains and imagination, Moloch, solitude, filth, ugliness, ash cans and unobtainable dollars, children screaming under the stairways, boys sobbing in armies, old men weeping in the parks, Moloch, Moloch, nightmare of Moloch, Moloch the loveless, mental Moloch, Moloch the heavy judger of men, Moloch, the incomprehensible prison. Moloch, the crossbones, soulless jailhouse and congress of sorrows. Moloch, whose buildings are judgment. Moloch, the vast stone of war. Moloch, the stunned governments. Moloch, whose mind is pure machinery. Moloch, whose blood is running money. Moloch, whose fingers are ten armies. Moloch, whose breast is a cannibal dynamo. Moloch, whose ears a smoking tomb. Moloch, whose eyes are a thousand blind windows. Moloch, whose skin skyscrapers stand in the long streets like endless Jehovah's. Moloch, whose factories dream and croak in the fog. Moloch, whose smokestacks and antennae crown the cities. Moloch, whose love is endless oil and stone. Moloch, whose soul is electricity and banks. Moloch, whose poverty is the specter of genius. Moloch, whose fate is a cloud of sexless hydrogen. Moloch, whose name is the mind. Moloch, in whom I sit lonely. Moloch, in whom I dream angels. Crazy in Moloch, cocksucker in Moloch. Lack love and manless in Moloch. Moloch, who entered my soul early. Moloch, in whom I'm a consciousness without a body. Moloch, who frightened me out of my natural ecstasy. Moloch, whom I abandon, wake up in Moloch, light streaming out of the sky. Moloch, Moloch, robot apartments in visible suburbs, skeleton treasuries, blind capitals, demonic industries, spectral nations, invincible madhouses, granite cocks, monstrous bombs. They broke their backs, lifting Moloch to heaven. Pavement, trees, radios, tons lifting the city to heaven which exists and is everywhere about us. Visions, omens, hallucinations, miracles, ecstasies, gone down the American river, dreams, adorations, illuminations, religions, the whole boatload of sensitive bullshit, breakthroughs over the river, flips and crucifixions, gone down in the flood, highs, epiphanies, despairs, Ten years, animal screams and suicides, minds, new loves, mad generation, down on the rocks of time, real holy laughter in the river, they saw it all. The wild eyes, the holy yells, they bade farewell. They jumped off the roof to solitude, waving, carrying flowers down to the river, into the street. Carl Solomon, I'm with you in Rockland, where you're madder than I am. I'm with you in Rockland, where you must feel very strange. I'm with you in Rockland, where you imitate the shade of my mother. I'm with you in Rockland, where you imitate, where you've murdered your 12 secretaries. I'm with you in Rockland, where you laugh at this invisible humor. I'm with you in Rockland, where we are great writers on the same dreadful typewriter. I'm with you in Rockland, where your condition has become serious and is reported on the radio. I'm with you in Rockland, where the faculties of the skull no longer admit the worms of the senses. 
I'm with you in Rockland, where you drink the tea of the breasts of the spinsters of Utica. I'm with you in Rockland, where you pun on the bodies of your nurses, the harpies of the Bronx. I'm with you in Rockland, where you scream in a straight jacket that you're losing the game of the actual ping pong of the abyss. I'm with you in Rockland, where you bang on the catatonic piano, the soul is innocent and immortal and it should never die ungodly in an armed madhouse. I'm with you in Rockland, where 50 more shocks will never return your soul to its body again, from its pilgrimage to a cross in the void. I'm with you in Rockland, where you accuse your doctors of insanity and plot the Hebrew socialist revolution against the fascist national Golgotha. I'm with you in Rockland, where you split the heavens of Long Island and resurrect your living, living human Jesus from the superhuman tomb. I'm with you in Rockland, where there are 25,000 mad comrades all together singing the final stanzas of the international. I'm with you in Rockland, where we hug and kiss the United States under our bed sheets, the United States that coughs all night and won't let us sleep. I'm with you in Rockland, where we wake up electrified out of the coma by our own souls' airplanes roaring over the roof. They've come to drop angelic bombs. The hospital illuminates itself. Imaginary walls collapse. Oh, skinny legions run outside. Oh, starry spangled shock of mercy, the eternal war is here. Oh, victory, forget your underwear, we're free. I'm with you in Rockland. In my dreams, you walk dripping from a sea journey on the highway across America in tears to the door of my cottage in the Western night. Night.